Right, we're on the Mark III rocket stove, space heater. The, uh, there's the drawing that I used. I worked it all out on the drawing. And now we'll give you a few seconds on there. Now we go down to the new rocket stove, Mark III. This is the Mark III rocket stove. See, I've got an extra leg in the middle which goes down and back up to the chimney and that is to make sure that it has a reburn of any gases that are left uh, because I live in a smokeless zone and this now does not smoke at all. It did it when I first tried it but not now. Um, and the fire baskets I've had to make you can see because I've experimented with a few just down there, look, and they're all different measurements. Now, the first one I had 8mm, 6mm was the second one, then over there on the last one that's actually running in the fire is 4mm gap, and I found with the 4mm gap and a 20mm gap underneath the uh, fire, that runs really nice. Um, that's given me phenomenal temperatures, which I don't need. It, it, in actual fact, it, in a way, it really gets too hot. Um, because if you're having cherry red heat, which is what that does, um, that's not good. But if you lift the basket up, then it reduces the performance of the fire, because you're actually closing down the amount that's actually burning. And if you have two bigger gaps like I did, what happens is um, you drop into the second burn chamber and you drop too much fuel into there and it and it's wasting fuel. So you want it 20 mil gap at the bottom and then just so it will see if you look now it's it's dropped a bit out into the into the bucket and it's now sucking it back in the fire. We'll give you a quick temperature check. Right, 430 centigrade and Fahrenheit 805 which is well adequate um, you don't need extreme temperatures it's nice to have a bit of this is a space heater so this is not not a boiler this is not a, a rocket stove in the, the normal sense but it's it's a space heater and that's what I made so it just heats here and if you have to work out what the distances are from here whatever diameter that is there it's four times the diameter that way in the horizontal that gives you a good measurement and if you've got a an old cylinder that you're going to use the measurement from the top of the cylinder to the tube inside is two and a half inches you don't want less than two and a half inches because it stops the performance. But by doing it this way, you don't need any of that because it produces so much heat. God, it's unbelievable. So it's it's cracking on there, look. Yeah, 4.30. Oh, that's too old. So this one has been very successful, but it's down to the basket inside. By making different baskets, is is changed the performance of the fire. And as you can see with those particular baskets I made, they're at funny angles, and that's what really matters. Um, let's just get one. Oh, right. Drop that. Right. Now this is just to show you how I made it. So there we go, that's the basket. Now those radiuses there 
I made them on a, a, a six millimeter pipe bender. But the gap here is too much. What happens is it lets too much fuel drop into the second chamber. So then it causes it to smoke too much. They are stainless steel. And the reason that they're threaded bar is because that's the cheapest way for me to buy it. <coughs> Tool station do those six millimeter threaded bar for two pound and they're stainless steel. And if you went and bought a length of bar, which I inquired the price of, was 30 pound. And I couldn't believe me ears when he was telling me. So cheaper to go and buy a couple of lengths of six millimeter threaded bar. That is the setup. That's exactly what's in the fire now running. So you can see exactly how I made it. And this angle here is to force the fuel to the front. And that's what gives it its performance, sliding it to the front. So it actually sits in there. So that's against the front fire. And then it forces the coals. And that radius there sits perfectly <coughs> for the right amount of fuel. There's the 20 mil gap at the bottom there. You can see the 20 mil gap. That works really nice. The thing is with this one, it drops so much fuel in the bottom that it gets really hot and it's too much. The idea is to use as little fuel as possible and get the highest performance as possible for less money. So there we are. That's the Mark III. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget on the bottom, thumbs up or thumbs down as you'd like to do, or subscribe. Uh, this is Dave signing off. We'll catch you all later on the flip side. Bye-bye.